Hello everybody, this is Sirik1983, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, so off-screen I just decided to uh, rearrange my equipment here. I moved all this stuff up into this second slot instead of the third one, just because, you know, it'll make it easier for me to when I sell off uh, excess equipment, so... Alright, let's go do this. We've got to go, got to go find Mogram. See if we can put an end to this cult. <laughs> And hopefully before Arabeth does something she'll regret. Right, yeah, we'll come back for those guys. Himself eventually. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go up here. Take care of these uh, guys, these rare cats. <laughs> Trapped. Oh, nice. All right. Any remains? No. All right. So how do we work this thing? Also, the stones on the pillar before you glow with a magical radiance. Which level do you choose? Hmm, second floor, I guess. And there we go. Just walk up to it. Alrighty. Ooh, sounds like something's going on over here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Just kill his own guy. <laughs> uh, sweet. What else we got around here? Some arrows. I guess a slide stone. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, where do we want to start? Let's start over here and go clockwise. All right. This room first. starting to get annoying, he should be dead by now. Holy crap. Kel. You're a disgrace. Thank you. Jeez. That battle looked a lot harder than it really is, guys. <laughs> Kel couldn't hit a broadside of the barn there. But after the news we got about Arabeth, you know, can't really blame him. And obviously we got some stuff here we can sell. Actually, I'm going to put these on their own uh, pad here. Put them in order, I guess. Yeah, each of these stones are what you need to get into each floor of the uh, the tower. So you could technically do a, uh, a speed run, but for the sake of experience and level 14 and story, I'm not going to. I'm going to go through them one at a time. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> All right. This could be a rather interesting way up the tower for me if uh, I needed to use potions there. Wow. You're in. Nobody in here, but there's still a chest. Awesome. Let's 
but to say ow, but nothing happened. <laughs> I'll see if he drops anything. Guess not. Alright. Next floor. The third one. Okay, this one's rather interesting. Well, not really. Oh, it says dispatch. The scrap of paper was obviously written in a great hurry. Mogram's forces have completely taken over the North Tower. Archmage Arklam is nowhere to be found. How did Mogram gain so many followers without being noticed? It is beyond belief. Delta Gar has commanded us to turn loose the experiments. With luck, they will be more trouble for Valenda and her men than for us. If you find this and have not succumbed to Mogram's lies, flee the tower immediately. Do not fall into his hands. The secrets of the Brotherhood will not be lost. We shall return. Wow. Cool. Well, let's take it. What's here? Nice. Uh, looks like that's it in here, so let's go in here. Ooh. Interesting place for some statues. Ooh, Bloodboard journal. I don't think you can sell this, so I'm not going to pick it up. This thick volume is filled with numerous details on the planar exper experiments the Arcane Brother Brotherhood has been performing, at the request of Archmage Arklam Greeth. Most of the entries go into exhaustive de detail. It seems the we wizards have attuned several portals to the abyssal and hellish plains, attempting to research the eternal blood war being carried on by the demons and devils. No conclusion seems to have been drawn, but it is pointed out in several places that one curious property of the portals is that their attunement is easily disrupted by, mat by material of the opposing planes. One wizard warns that trying to actually s send material from one plane through the wrong portal could be highly destructive. I wonder if we could find any use for that information. Let's change this around since we don't need one for the first and second floors. Yeah, I don't think you can sell this, so I'm not going to bother picking it up. I think there's like two of them on this floor, too, so I won't bother. There we go. Yeah, there's the other one. Oh, yeah, I guess. Might as well pick up the gargoyle skulls. Alright. Well, where'd we go? Well, let's go this way first. Or maybe I should have gone the other way. <laughs> well, it's over here. Oh. <laughs> Prepare to become one with eternity. <laughs> Didn't even get a shot. Yeah, we got another belt. What's this? Hellish portal. The flames of the brazier appear to be cold and give off an aura that is unsettling as you draw near. The magic emanating from this device is almost palpable. Examine the brazier more closely. Damn it. Yeah, that's one of the portals. How do you solve it? Well, yeah. Whoa, hello. What's going on here? Yeah, we want one imp's eye, and after we take care of those guys. And it quasi its eye. Why? You'll find out. Alright, let's take care of these guys. There's three sides to this war. 
Devils, the demons, and mine. <laughs> Now, as you might be able to guess, this thing, this area is very much a lucrative grinding point because these things come through the portals continually. So let's. Your head. And the idea is, is that while well, the imps come from one plane, the, the uh, closets come from another. Obviously, this is seems to be the closet portal, so we need to put an imp's eye in here. Whatever it is we got from the imp. <laughs> yeah, imp's eye. Whoa. I've never seen this before. But yeah, in order to close the, close the portals, let's see if we can examine it. Yeah. There's an image of another pl place just beyond the flames, making you believe that the brazier may be some manner of portal to another plane. The portal appears to be two-way, although anything entering from this side would have to be very small. There's no way to bold bodily move through it. Now this is the closet, so let's put an imp's eye in the flames. There's a bright flash as the imp's eye is swallowed by the flames. Of course, not enough time to read it. But yeah, there's the first one. I'm not gonna bother trying to pick up all these things. <laughs> Pray, whatever God you worship. Sweet, let's check this stuff out. Hmm, those tower lab notes. This book explains that the focus of a lab found on this level is to summon a powerful weapon. The arcane ritual appears to mention two ingredients that to be placed within the alchemist's apparatus. A gar gargoyle skull and a slad's tongue. It is not ch not clear which spell is to be the catalyst that summons the item, but the final line reads, "Dispel the magical essence from the components, and you may reap your reward." So, if you've got the dispel uh, spell on you, give it a shot. Obviously, we got uh, the attention. Ooh, nice. All right, let's kill these things. I thought I saw one more. Where is he? Oh, well, let's close the portal anyway. Oh, there they are. Your head, broad knife. Closet's eye in. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, uh yeah, I think that's all we gotta do here, so. Alrighty, let's head to the next floor then. But I'm out of time, so I guess we'll have to head to the fourth floor next time. This is Syrup 1983 signing off. Thank you for watching and have a good one.